Today we're gonna be filming at the warehouse. I got some goodies in from Amazon and Frank's got his oil pan welded up the bung for the oil return line. We'll take a look at that. And then hopefully Chris will actually get his transmission on his damn motor today. You think you're gonna get it done? What are you doing right now? You're jacking up the front of the motor to tilt it backwards, right? Yep. So that's what we're doing. We literally just got here. Uh, Frank's gonna bolt up his oil pan right now. So you can see that's all welded up in there. Probably not the best welds, but as long as it's sealed up, uh, we're gonna mount that up and then possibly get the engine in there today. Uh, transmission is all ready to be bolted up. And yeah, so anyways, moving on to my project. Uh, I got some stuff in. Basically, I was on Amazon just cruising and I found these oscillating lights. I had to get the purple, of course, and uh, sadly they're LED. I didn't really want LED. I don't want LED on this entire car just because that's like too advanced for this style. Uh, but these are gonna be inside the car. I'm gonna put them back in here. I'm just gonna set them in there real quick uh, I'll probably wire them up uh, eventually, but uh, I'm probably just gonna set them inside there And it's just another little thing just to add to the interior of the car And uh, I've seen some oscillating lights within uh, some of the Bozo cars uh, Overseas and so I think it'll be kind of cool and you know, I got some purple ones which yeah. I think it'll be cool. It's definitely unique. And I think these are for actually uh, like funeral uh, usage just because I think they, they use uh, purple lights for whenever they do that. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna throw these in there real quick and then we'll just start doing some bonnet work. Also, this is Chris's masterpiece here. So don't mind that. Hey, these have magnets on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Like. It ain't going nowhere if you're driving normally. We could, well, I mean, I could. I, I wouldn't want to scratch the paint, but back here, chilling. You can barely even see him with how absolutely disgusting this rear window is and then the super shitty tent. We will be getting rid of that tent later on and be doing something a little bit more unique with that. Uh, but that'll be for uh, later down the line once we're nearly finished with this thing. Moving on, I did come here one time before I filmed and uh, I started working on this back part a little bit more. I can see that this is on its way there and then all the way across here I did start taking this down. It does need to be taken down a little bit more. And then like I said, we're going to be finishing half of this and then duplicating it on the other side. So I'm kind of pissed about a couple of things. Uh, one, this Harbor Freight thing just absolutely sucks compared to the other one that I had. Uh, I probably should have just gotten that one. I don't know, it was just husky, so I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think it was gonna be much better anyways. Um, I was hitting some of this bumper down here, which sucks because that was almost entirely flat. Not really too big of a deal because I am gonna have to add some Bondo right here at the very least, just so that way I can block this all together. But yeah, that's doesn't make me very happy that I hit that with the DA, but uh, I'm gonna take the electric sander just because it's a smaller size, and hopefully I'll just be able to bring this down very slowly and try and get it really close with the DA, and then uh, we'll try and see if we can block that first, and then uh, put some Bondo on there and get it perfect. thanks to a suggestion by one of the subscribers. He said to put tape on the cardboard so that way uh, whenever I tear away the cardboard, uh, the cardboard doesn't really stick, just a little bit of the tape sticks. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out, see how that works. Uh, but we are gonna put some cardboard in here so that way we don't have to try and gap this. Uh, we're gonna be putting some bondo on the back of this, on the top of here, and on the side of here. And then we're gonna be using that air file and see if that'll work to try and get that all uh, level. Uh, you know, I, obviously it doesn't do the best with curves, but I think it'll at least help try and get this as level as possible. That way I'm not trying to block this all by hand. Okay. 
So I've got the first of probably a few layers of Bondo on the top half of this. I tried to get some back here, it didn't really work too well. I tried to get a lot under here, that didn't work well at all. So uh, I'm just gonna have to do this top part, lift the trunk up and then do the bottom, which won't really be too big of a deal. I just could get in there all the way. Um, anyways, while this is drying, I'm actually going to help Frank get his motor back in his car. So we're actually in the home stretch of completing this project. I'm actually gonna be controlling the forklift today. First time I've actually really ever used it, but we're just gonna have to figure it out. Hopefully all goes well. And uh, yeah, so we're basically gonna put it back in there. It should be a relatively easy process. So of course the battery had to die, but we ended up putting the engine in there. Uh, motor mounts aren't bolted up yet. We just gotta push it back a tiny bit and then we're gonna mount those up. Uh, but Frank just quickly mounted up his turbo in there. And you can see, it looks absolutely massive in there. Anyways, they gotta go. They got work in the morning, uh, but I'm gonna merge this video and the next Bondo video, sanding video together. And so we'll catch you next time. You know what I thought about yesterday? Selling everything and leaving the turbo kit. It is a new day and we have George here, it's just me and George today, and we're gonna continue working on the Boza car. As you know, last night, Frank got his motor in and his turbo kind of mounted up, and Chris got his transmission at least sadly in place. I don't think I actually got any footage of that, but he did get it uh, up in there, and I think he only has to start it up, holding everything back up, including the drive shaft and all that. Anyways, we're gonna be moving on and working on the hood, continuing to get all this flat, Get that other corner as good as this one, and then we're gonna start adding some Bondo, flaring this up into this little bit of a cowl. And then I'm gonna start working back here. I got very little done last night. I'm gonna probably pull this cardboard off, sand a little bit of this, see where I'm at with it, probably add more on the back here, and then I'm gonna try and add some on the back, that way we can block all this together. Someone said to put tape on it. So that way it comes off easier. You're right. Smart. Should be decent. Nowhere near finished, obviously, you can find here and stuff. Like
See what I mean? Yeah. Just give me a chance, at least. Alrighty guys, well that is gonna be the end of today's video. Uh, today we basically got half of this trunk uh, pretty damn close as you can see I got that gap pretty good uh, up here We're not gonna worry about this until I get this side done at the bottom and then obviously in the front as you've seen George completed this line we do have some little stuff to work out uh, some little highs and lows on this side still but I'd say it's Really really damn good as you can see from the primer shots with the light reflection, but uh anyways guys that's gonna be for today Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out